front You know what spike. probably isn't a great way to get voters on your side? Dine at your private club with white supremacists and Holocaust deniers. Uh, that is exactly what happened last week. President Trump had, uh, former President Trump had white nationalist and Holocaust denier Nick Fuentes, rapper Kanye West, who is now known as Ye. Uh, the former president claimed that Fuentes was an unexpected guest and he knows nothing about him. And here's what Chris Christie, a uh, potential rival for 2024, told The New York Times. This is just another example of an awful lack of judgment from Donald Trump, which combined with his past poor judgments, make him an untenable general election candidate for the Republican Party in 2024. Mark Short, do you agree? I, I do agree. I think it's a terrible judgment, and there's no excuse for it. I think, you know, um, backstage, Hillary reminded me that Mar-a-Lago was one of the first clubs down there to actually allow Jews in. And the reality is that I think we all know his affection for his daughter, Havanka, who converted to Judaism. But it's an incredible, um, it's incredibly poor judgment. And I think that ever since the election in 2020, I think the president's descended deeper into heart of darkness here. And I think that it's a big challenge. And I think that it's another reason why I think Republicans are looking a different direction in 2024. I mean, I'm not surprised. I, I think when you think about Charlottesville and you had people marching down the streets saying that, you know, Jews will not replace us. And then you had the president say there are good people on both sides. Well, why would we be surprised that he had an anti-Semite go down and have dinner with him, even if he didn't know or entertain some of these uh, characters? He, Donald Trump is homophobic. He is an anti-Semite. He does racist things. And if he is the candidate for 2024, I, I think it will just not be bad for Republicans. I think he will be bad for our country because it will continue to polarize us and cause this heightened tension of hate and violence in our country that we people are sick of. And I think it was the economy, but I think it was that too, that voters are tired of this anger and this vitriol that is coming from our elected leaders. And yet, Kristen, you know the Republican electorate from, from polling it. Is it too soon to say, even with this dinner, even with January 6th, even with, even with, even with, that Donald Trump is not viable for the presidential nomination for the Republican Party? So for years, we've been wondering, is this going to be the thing? Is this the thing where he crosses <laughs> the line and finally everybody decides, no, let's turn the page? What I think may be different this time is that Republicans are wounded coming out of this midterm, even though they've taken control of the houses by a very slim margin, and are looking around going, something's not right. We have to turn the page. We have to change something. Now, whether that is just a feeling of Republicans in Washington, or has it bled out yet into sort of Republicans, your, your, your voters, primary voters, I think remains to be seen. But I know that this is a moment where Donald Trump seems weakened, seems more vulnerable, and something like this Maybe this time around, it finally does stick. 15 seconds, Hillary. I'll tell you what hasn't changed, that we are still talking about him. <laughs> and that's exactly what he wants. What would change this dynamic is if we all stopped talking about Donald Trump. You know, that there is this actual conversation. If I were a Republican, I would want to have a conversation about what does abortion mean for us going forward? What is the House going to do? What are the policy issues we should yeah. be thinking about for the future? But nobody's doing that. And, and we in the media keep doing this, well, too. We keep giving Donald Trump uh, oxygen. Okay. It's kind of well, a when somebody who is in the White House has dinner with an anti-Semite and a white supremacist and Holocaust and Iron, still to this moment has not condemned it, I yeah. think it's worth, it's worth talking about. All right. It, thank it you. Be, thank you so much. Appreciate it.